Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn with Archan. In this Python video, we are going to learn about functions and we are going to make our own calculator. Now before we get started writing this calculator, I want to just run the program and then we can first try multiplication or just multiply. Yeah. And then I'm going to multiply 7 and 6, which is equal to 42. And that's what we see here. So let's get into it. And the way to create a new one is to go to File, New. And then it's, it's not come. Yeah, File, New, Python file. And in this, uh, we can name this Calculator. Oh, I already have one so we can name it calculator too so file and Python file calculator calculator 2 and then just click enter now that loads and we need three variables first we want a variable called operator because we want to know what we like what we need because there are many operators right so um why is this a bit glitchy okay there's something wrong so anyway we want to know why we want to know which operator our user is choosing there can be exponent or many things so i'm going to type here choose an operator and colon and exponent and I'm going to type division multiplication and then we're going to type addition and subtraction now I'm going to give all of these numbers so we don't actually type the entire thing. So exponent is 1, division is 2, multiplication is 3, addition is 4, and subtraction is 5. So that's a pretty, pretty wrong thingy. But anyway, it'll work and we need another variable, another two variables. Because obviously we should know what number do we do this operations with because we need two numbers we need two numbers to multiply two numbers to divide two numbers to add or you can have a number of n but we are just gonna focus on two numbers so we're going to take number one equals int because numbers are integer obviously enter a number colon space to make it neat and we're gonna copy this entire thing and paste it again and then we're gonna type another here and two okay so i think we got it now i'm gonna leave two lines i'll tell why if i were to just leave one why 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 should i type this yeah if i have to leave one and write a function there will be something going wrong and the way you define a function is like this and it's in the sentence that i said define and we're going to write exactly that but we're going to write in a short form so def x if i write this in capital you can hear you can see like a squiggly green line it's not an error it's self function but we don't want this to be there and it says if I have my cursor on it function name should be in lowercase so let's change this e is of capital to lower but there's still something wrong well the thing is there's only one blank line between this thing and this function and the pepe style guide which is a python style guide they want us to like enter two blank lines before a function so let's go ahead and do that at the moment i have only one and if i press enter now there are two blank lines 
and you make sure to always do that it's just a pepe style guide thingy and so in here we're gonna start off with result equals and now you know why to put something in here we're gonna put something in here and it's gonna be x and y and these two are parameters they are basically like placeholders and i will explain why we have them at the moment we're gonna just write x double multiply with y and by the way this is the symbol for powers in python normally you just write this shift and x, uh, shift and six but in python you just write this i was struggling i don't know i did not know before why did this not work it gave me three squared is one which is obviously around three squared is nine so i obviously googled it and i learned that this is the way to do it okay so after that i wanna how do i turn caps long yeah return result this is literally what we have to do in a function and we have to just copy this and paste it five times one two three four yeah and we're done five times and of course i did not la leave two lines and we're gonna write the file here add i mean multiplication multiply multiplication now add and subtract subtract okay we've got it now and we need an if condition yeah this is capital just change that now why an if condition because we can't just you know write the answer calculation script in here and print it here we can write that but from where are we going to call the function Alrighty. yeah because obviously functions need to be called to be activated and uh, by the way if you click this button you can break the code to make it look shorter i'm not gonna do that right now so but if you have like a million functions you can do this but i'm just gonna redo that right now set a break point in here yeah i'm just gonna redo everything yeah okay so now what we're going to do in line 31 is add five if conditions so if operator finally comes into use equals equals to what y1 because we defined we told over here it's going to be one and i just forgot that to add an int over here and a process over here so we only get one or two or three or four or five okay so the first we're checking exponent why because i'm just writing all of these functions and everything in board mass order just because i want to okay so now we have that and now here is the part where the confusing like parameter thingy comes into part so we're gonna say answer equals what we can't just put result obviously and that reminds me i have to do this yeah we can't just do everything we can't just rename the function and then leave the calculation as exponent we can't do that we have to change the calculation symbol also i forgot to do that well we're going to write exponent the function name and we're gonna call it like this so exponent and over here it prompts us to give an x and a y value well i have a challenge for you guys figure out what will the x and y value be so go ahead and pause the video and figure that out well, if you figure that out, it's very cool because the x is going to be number one because we want an input from a user 
what we want the x and y to be what we want to power the numbers what we want to divide the numbers with we want the x and y to be this so now did you understand why do we have the parameters so this is basically like a placeholder of these two thingies so that we can put it into a function that's why they are needed and so important and why number two so this is the thing and now obviously we can calculate it but we have to print it to display it and you might actually just put answer but i want to put like a short print statement so first i'm gonna put number one and i'm gonna put the exponent symbol in python it's obviously not that it is shift six and i just forgot to put a comma here and then comma space and then what we're going to do is with number two yeah and then we're gonna put a comma again equals as well equals yeah there it is and so it comes here so now let's test this out before doing the other things enter one yeah we get two squared is four which is correct two into two is four and that's correct and the thing i forgot to do in this huge line is to just do this mm. yeah the line is too long maybe we can cut it right here just press an enter and now the line is cut like this it looks kind of weird but yeah it's a pepe style guide thingy yeah it just like if, if you don't need to scroll a lot to see the lines so we can just see it in front of our screen like this so that is that and we're going to take this thing take this thing and paste it four times more and we don't need to add two line but we just to make condition yeah just one more for subtraction now we're just going to change it to operator 2 operator 3 operator 4 and last operator 5 now what we're going to do is quite simple we are going to change this thing to divide change this to the third one to multiply multiplication that's what i named it and addition add and i'm gonna change this to subtract now the only thing that we're gonna change here is the print statements so we're gonna put divide symbol and then here a multiplication symbol here an addition symbol and here a minus symbol so this is actually our calculator and before testing it i want to put a short heading here so print and in double quotes i think that's yeah five stars and a space calculator exclamation space and five stars so now let's run our code and we got calculator i'm gonna select one for exponent i'm gonna enter six to the power of seven and six to the power of seven is absolutely a huge number we're gonna do because we're, this is powers is repeated at multiplication basically so doing six into six into six into six seven times which is uh, so big and you want to see how much big uh, uh, python can calculate when if i do 100 to the power of 100 yeah it can calculate this much and i want to see if it can calculate more because that will be crazy thousand wait actually it does that okay that's that's a lot of digits i'm pretty sure it can't do thousand to the power of 
that is like such such a big number. Oh wait, yeah, okay, yeah. This just the slider is so small. How many zeros are in this thing? It's so much. Our Python is cal is up. Uh, it can calculate a thousand the power of thousand. It's it's crazy. It's so cool. So I can put ten thousand. I don't know how this is gonna come. Yeah, but it can do. It can calculate infinite amount of numbers. But that's actually not true. It stops up like uh, in a humongous number. But it can actually calculate a lot. I haven't tested this, but because I was scared if my system would go like boom boom. So I did not calculate this big number. But absolutely, it took like a. It it just did it like that. It just it is so fast. It's so cool. And this is where we're going to end this episode. And before that, I'm just gonna see if we can do 98. I do. Yep, it does that. And why does it give point zero? Oh yeah, I I we did it by a float, right? And we can also wait. We did not do it by a float. We can actually change this to float. That's what I was going to say. So float, float. Now let's try do a multiplication. What? Oh, I, I typed M. I typed M. So we can do three, and we can write here seven point something and eight point something. Uh, okay. I was not expecting 67, but I think it's true. So this is when we're going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can post in the comment section below. And bye guys. Thanks for watching.